now that we have our script and access working properly so we know our SQL is good, then I've gone into the Excel workbook and just set up a heading. So here's total sales and average sales by country. I put a button in here that we're going to hook up to our script. And then I just put some headings in here. These are the very same headings that were produced by the SQL script. And then, you know, the data will get pasted down here. So this is really the destination for where we're going. I've just given it a name. Uh, when I started off, it was just sheet one, but I just gave it a name uh, to make it a little bit more descriptive. Now, we need to be able to set up our data access object so that it will work properly. So we need to set the reference. So once we're in our VBA and we're starting over here, we can go to Tools, and this is in the VBA editor, go Tools, Reference, and then we need to come down and select Microsoft Office Access Database Engine Object Library. Now, mine says 16, uh, yours might be slightly different, but we don't want to get the Excel one, we want to get the, the Microsoft Office Access Database Engine Object. Mine wasn't initially set, and so I came in here and set it. So that needs to be set so that it'll be able to use that data access object to be able to get the data out of Microsoft Access. So we hit OK, and that's all set up. If you don't do that, then your script will not be able to go pull stuff out of Microsoft Access. Now, I showed you just how to set up the, the data access object uh, utility so you'll be able to do things in when you're working in a Windows environment. Microsoft does not provide a DAO for that will work with the Microsoft Office for Mac version. Uh, it doesn't come installed with the Mac version, so you shouldn't look for it in there because it does not exist. Microsoft has not made that available for Mac. Uh, and so uh, I think this is a holdover where Microsoft used to sort of be on one side and Mac on the other, and they were sort of protecting some of their intellectual property. However, uh, these are available from other vendors, and so, uh, and it's, and so, and this is actually kind of a common way that vendors do these sort of things, or that sometimes they're written for free and made available for free. So other programs, including Microsoft Excel, that is in a Mac, uh, there are open database connector drivers that are actually you can buy or sometimes download for free. It turns out that the one for Excel is not free. Uh, here's where it can be purchased and it does not only Microsoft Access but it does Oracle, SQL Server and MySQL and a whole bunch of other databases. Uh, it's free to try and you, it'll only return three records from a query but you can show you can see that it works. Uh, and it's $35 to buy, which would not be a lot of money to spend if you want to be able to, uh, you know, work with one of these other databases. And there will be another video that shows you how to install and set that up. It's a bit different than when you're working with the, the database access object, but it's not uh, very complex to be able to set up and use.